Hello all. So in the last lecture we have seen about for loops and in this lecture we will see about while loop. Okay, now let's see the syntax of the while loop. So we have to use the while command and then we have to give the condition. So if the condition is true, it will enter inside the loop. So after giving condition, you have to use the semicolon so that it will appear as an indented block. So if the condition is true, the internet block will execute. So here you can write your code inside the indentation. And you can also use else. So in case the while condition fails, it will directly go to the else block. And execute the code inside the else block. So let's see an example now. For that I am taking a variable x and assigning the value 1 to it and here I am creating a while loop so the condition will be x less than 3 and I am using indentation and writing my print statement inside it so I am printing hello there so until the condition is true it starts executing the statement so here you can see it's an infinite loop because we are not changing the value of x it's always less than 3 so it keep on printing so it went into an infinite loop so we can stop it by stopping the kernel so by using the interrupt we can stop the we can stop the printing okay to avoid this infinite case we just need to add a condition inside the loop which will be incrementing x so that the loop runs only three times here you can see x is incremented 1 every time it enters the loop and at a particular case x becomes 3 so 3 less than 3 is false and it will come out of the loop ok now instead of uh, printing hello there we can use the fstrings method to print the value of x so here I am using the fstrings method this we have discussed already in the previous lectures so I am getting the value of x now and if I run this, you can see the loop is executed only two times. Because when x is incremented to 3, it will come out of the loop because the condition becomes false. So if I increment the condition to 5, you can see it's run till 4. So we can change the addition operation using shortened operators x plus equal to 1. This is same as increment. And you can see the same result get printed if I execute this. So this comes in handy whenever you code. So these are called shorthand operators. Maybe we will see them in a separate lecture. So this is a simple example. I think you got the idea behind how while loop functions. Okay, now let's explore the concept of while else. So for that I'm using the else keyword. And here I am keeping the else statement. So when the while part become false, I need the else part to be printed using the print statement the loop has terminated so after execution of four times it will come after the loop and go to the else part and print this statement so that's it for this while loop tutorial meet you in the next lecture